Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Stinker77, and we are back on Hermit Skies today. We have some uh, work to do today, and uh, we're going to start off right with that. Well, the goal is we're going to try to make the fish bowl, which is what I, I've always wanted to do, is make this area in the center here uh, have like a little bit of a reservoir and have water in it. So we're going to need to do that. And I want to make it out of quite clear glass. So we're going to start off right away making a machine that does that. Before I do, I want to say, hey, thank you for all the likes and the comments you've given me so far. And if you like this video, please press that like button. Need those likes. Um, also, I've been trying to do a subscriber drive. So if you know anybody who would uh, subscribe, please have them subscribe. Also, if you haven't, please do. It really does help us as YouTube creators and content creators to know and to let YouTube know that we're doing okay. So here we go. We have this right here. This is an alloy smelter, and I'm going to take it for a second. We're going to move it. We're going to put it up here, okay, just a little bit higher. And the reason why I want to do that is we're going to put a chest right here. This will be an output chest, and we're going to put a, a hopper there. And what we're going to put into here, well, apparently we're putting all that was already in there already, which is electrical steel. But anyway, we're going to put another one here. And on top of that, we're going to put another chest and there we go. So this machine here will smelt various material. And what we're going to use is sand. You put sand in there, it makes glass, but in, in an alloy smelter, it will make quite clear glass. So we're going to get stacks of this stuff and get this started here. I want a lot. That'll do for now. We'll just let it run while we do other things. So here we go. Put it in. And there it goes. It comes into here. And you can see it's like kind of just pooling it up. And it's making glass. I thought this would make quite clear glass, but it doesn't matter. It works. Um, what makes quite clear glass then? Let's go look. Uh, I thought it was an alloy smelter. Oh, glass in it. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll make a lot of glass first, and then we'll put it into there, and we'll uh, get it done. Okay, let me get ready for the next step. So the next step that we're going to work on here is I want to make a safety net, if you will. And I'm going to use this, all these wood slabs that we have tons of that we have from the other system. And we're going to make an area so in case, ooh, don't want those. So in case we fall, we'll hit something rather than this, okay? Now, do I have any wands? I do have an, a diamond wand here, and we'll use that. Okay, so if you know about this, this is a little island that we are up in the sky, and it has this area. And I'm thinking about making the fishbowl go from this inner edge kind of downward, okay? So what I want to do is I want to go a few blocks lower than this. Okay. One more. Okay, so there we go. I didn't want that, but that's okay. Let's see. Let me get rid of that one really quick. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll vein mine it later. Okay, and so right here is the level that we want. Now, I want this to go all the way across to where we will be. So we, if we fall anywhere, for whatever reason, we won't uh, die. That's the goal here. So let's make a whole bunch of these, okay? I want to go underneath this section right here. We're not quite there yet. Right. Okay, so that's pretty good. And we'll go the other way with it. Of course, we'll have to light that up, as you can see. So we'll go the other way here. Are we under there yet? We are pretty much. Let's go one more, two more here. And now we should be able to wand this. Now, I don't know how it's going to affect that thing right there, but let's see. I thought so. It kind of had a problem with it here so let's get rid of it for sure and this is not quite the tool for this but that's uh that's okay let's see if this work better no okay well then we'll just put one there and we'll just do it the hard way easy way but the hard way kind of the same thing and now we're going to just go on out and so this is kind of like a f temporary floor if you will so in case we do this we can we fall or whatever we won't fall too far safety net and then at the end i can just vein mine it does that make sense? Let me finish this up and then we'll be, go on. I finished making up the, the uh, safety net. Now I'm waiting for the sand to go through. I did build an octatic capacitor, which did give me a, a quest completion. And we'll get that loot chest in a little bit. But uh, I'm just doing this so I can speed this up. And hopefully this will come out faster and get in here. So we're going to wait on this because then we have to put all this glass back up here so that we can get the quite clear glass, which is what we're waiting for. So let me uh, just let this run for a while. And once that gets done, We'll start to do the uh, building of the fishbowl. Look at all the glass. All this glass is done. We're going to grab it all. And we're going to put it back up here. And this will then make the quite clear glass that we need to do. See, so it's going to pull it in. There it goes. 
And that will be what we need right here. Quite clear glass, so you can see when we grab that. It's very, very, very clear. And that's what we want with this process, okay? So I'm gonna let this uh, run for a little bit more and we'll, then we'll get to work. All of the glass has been made. I grabbed some here so we have some to work with. And we're gonna start right here at the bottom. Now, this is where the bottom of the fish bowl will be and it's gonna go up and over to that edge. And of course, up to over to this edge. So it forms a big bowl down here at the bottom. So this is the exact center. And I calculated that there are 10 layers to this. So I'm gonna go out to a circle generator and try to figure out what the circle should be for this. And then we're gonna to start to build this. So let me go and figure out this first layer and I'll show you in just a sec. This first layer off the center here should be six off of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Also six off of it on each side. So let's do that real quick. These are like the center of the bot or the bottom center of going to be what's going to be uh, the fish bowl. Okay. Now off of this, basically we have one, then it goes in, and then we have two, then it goes in and one. Okay. And again, we have two, in and two. Just like uh, should be just about like that. Is that about right? Yes, it looks almost perfect. No, it doesn't look perfect. Something's wrong here. I got a little bit off center here. Let me think here. Okay, so it takes three. So there's one there off and does two. There's one off and it does two. So the, somewhere in here I got it messed up. But basically this is a, a the flat bottom part of this uh, fishbowl. And this really takes a long time to break. <laughs> I need a better tool for this. So I'm going to try to figure this part out because this is wrong here. Let me look through the math here. See, this is, did I mess up my sixes here? Six off. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One over, right? And we go over and we do two. Okay, so that's right. And we did one, one over and then over that and then two. So we should go to here. I don't know. Something's off here. Let me go and take a look at this. My math is just really bad. That's looking better. And then you go off here. And there we go. That's one part of the bottom, okay? And of course, then we could take the one that we have and just fill it in here. So it should be good to go. So let's do that really quick here. Just like that. And that's one part of the actual bottom floor. So basically what the mistake I made here is I should go here and then go out two, and then go here and go out two, and then it's basically ready to go. Right there, there, and there. Okay. So that looks really, really good. And we fill this in and we'll do the other two and then we'll have the bottom done and then we just gotta do start doing layers of circles. Isn't that cool? The bottom layer is finished, it's filled out and I've added the next layer up. Now, filling this whole thing with water source blocks is gonna be very tricky. The bottom one's actually gonna be kind of simple. You just gotta get enough of these in the right place and let it kind of fill itself out. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna start putting stuff in here and see what I can get something that just kind of like uh, cascades on its own. But we got plenty of water. So eventually we'll get this all filled up. There we go. So there we go. Try to get the right little thing and it just starts filling up by itself. You can see how it filled up areas here. There it goes. So we'll get this all done here. And then what I'm gonna do is the next layer up and then I gotta figure out an easier way to put water in. This will be a trick because I don't know what, quite what to do yet. Okay? And there we go. Hey, hey, it's all done. The first layer of the fishbowl is in. I've made a terrible mistake. It's off center. I thought this was the dead center and that's what I was using for the thing. This is actually the tree's root. It's off center, so now I've got to take this all out. So I'm, I'm going to fill this in with the glass here and then they mine the whole thing out and we'll start over. And um, after I get to the same point where I was right now, I'll uh, continue on. So let me uh, do some uh, correction here. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Sorry about that, everybody. It took a little bit, but I did get this all finished. It is now centered. <laughs> Definitely centered. Not centered on the tree's roots, okay? So we're going to keep on going up. That's what the plan is. I'll probably take the root system out and make this platform just kind of normal. Um, I don't know. I, it's kind of cool hanging down, too, so I'm not sure. But the, yeah, we're going to go up and we're going to do a couple more layers. So I'm going to do some more and then I will let you know and see how it goes. We're getting close to the top here and uh, something satisfying with working with the water. You would think that this would be sort of difficult, but it tends to fill by itself. So if I start with these buckets and I'll show you what I mean. We'll do this whole layer. 
Okay. But you can see how it kind of starts to like pour out, and then a little bit, they'll start to fill in, especially when we go around these corners. Let's get some more here. Hit these corners. Now I usually have to fill up uh, you know, two or three times here, but that's not too bad. You can see how it spreads automatically, and all those blocks are just being filled in. Look at that. So that's what's really cool about using water here. Is I don't have to worry about like trying to get some weird way to get water um, by placing blocks and then placing the water sources against those blocks. I can just go and put these blocks in. And they tend to just fill in themselves. So that's what I've been doing with this, and it's working out really, really well. I'm uh, quite happy that it wasn't something super involved. See, there it comes. Look at that. Now, see, it goes to a certain point, and then uh, once you do that, you just fill in like you do like every other block here, and it'll fill in the corners. You know what I mean? So it's it's working pretty well. I'm really um, happy with this method. So let me finish this up. We're going to get another couple layers here and get this done so that we are ready for uh, the next step, okay? So let me uh, finish up the pool. And the bowl portion is done and filled with water. So you can see we got this nice round area. It fills up the entire thing. Now we have these corners I filled in with glass, and we're gonna change that in just a little bit and make it a little better. But then if you look down here, it looks like a bowl. Okay, so uh, let's uh, have some fun here. See all these endermen? They're going away. We don't need this right here, so let's just mine it out. I know it's gonna take a little bit with this uh, pick. <laughs> but we're gonna drop some Enderman. Sorry guys, you have been a pain. You gotta go. So here we go. 80%. Oh, I switched blocks. My fault. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to get a better view and I moved my mouse up and of course it uh, went to a different block. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. 80%. 90%. Oh, the lag is real. Look at that. Our little safety net is going away. There we go. Now, we've got a little bit of an issue, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. I'm going to clean this up, and then we're going to move on to the next little bit, and I'm going to show you what the issue is. Before I get to the issue, there's one more thing I want to do, and let's get a couple stacks of sand here. There we go. A little bit of lag. Um, what I want to do here is these spots that you see here, I want to cover this with sand. Give it kind of a beachy feel, you know? Yeah, that'll look better. And I might make, I guess maybe like wherever the glass is, I could replace it with sand. I think I might do that. So as an example, this block right here, oh, I can't place that with sand because of the fact that, uh, yeah, that it would fall all the way through. Okay, we won't do that. So it's going to be like this. Um, it's the way it's going to be. You know, I could put some sand here. Let's see, let's just do a little bit of sand. Let's, you know, make some decorative stuff here in those spots. And we'll do that on all the corners, and then this will be looking a lot nicer and uh, be kind of like a beach. And it'll be kind of cool. Okay? So let me uh, fill in the rest of the corners, and I'll show you the final product of the fish bowl with the little beach. Okay? Sound good? The sand is in, and it's all lit up, and that's what it looks like now. It looks kind of cool. I like it. So now, you know, if you ever feel like you're at my base and you want to go down for a swim, you can go into the water. You know, a little dark down here, but that works out. It's kind of cool. You're in the water, you know. You can go around and go for a little swim. And, uh, of course, that means also I have infinite water source, a big one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it looks really nice. I think I'm going to take a screenshot of this. So I can use it for a thumbnail. So let me go like this and I'll go, let's see, I like that right there. Okay. So on to the issue. And uh, the, I've had some trouble with OBS lately and uh, it took me about a week between a couple of the clips here to get OBS running again. And unfortunately that meant that I uh, didn't get a video out on time. And in the meantime, the server has been up and running and we've maxed out all of our storage. Mm -hmm. If you look here, the, the uh, chest, it can't put anything in. This chest here, you can see the farm is kind of working because I took some stuff out of the uh, storage. But uh, it's trying. It's trying really hard to uh, catch up. So what we have to do next is, I think, is we're going to have to make some more storage drives. 
Now I don't have any more of the 64K storage drive, so we're going to do some of that, and that will take some time. Um, so we'll see what happens with it. But uh, yeah, we've got to get this done. And I'm also going to recharge my battery because I've been flying around a lot. So let me uh, get prepared, and we're going to start to make some more storage drives. So since the last time that I uh, recorded, this is, as you can see, it's full. And, oh, that's not what I meant to do. The chest is full. Everything is stopped up again. We're all clogged up. So we definitely got to get these going here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to make some of the drives. Now, the 64K drives, if you aren't aware, 64K drives, this is what I'm trying to make, These this piece right here. It takes an ME storage housing and an ME storage component, okay? Now, this is kind of built up. This is 64. It's built from 316s, which is built from 34Ks, which is built from 1Ks, okay? So basically, if we do try to get 164, we need to get a total of 27 of the 1 case. So we're going to start to do that right now. Okay. So let's do this first. 1 case. 1 case right here. Right. We're going to need a lot of redstone, a lot of certus quartz, but we're also going to need logic processors, which is gold, silicon, and redstone. So we got to get some logic circuits and then get that uh, pressed out. So let's see. Where are my presses here? Let's get the logic one. And there that is. Okay, got a lot of lag there. Now let's see how much gold we have. Let's grab a stack of that. We only need 27 of them, but we'll know we'll need more later. So back here is where I have my press. So we're going to put that in here. And get into that. And we're just going to let this go. I don't like how it doesn't let me stack it, but that's okay. So we're going to make all this. And when I get done here, we're going to have some logic uh -huh. presses. Excellent. And I know I just said logic presses. I mean, we're going to have the uh, logic processors. <laughs> Very similar words. I am continuing to make up these processors. And what I think I'm going to end up doing here, let's see, we need that here. Let me just do this real quick. Can't put a whole stack in there, that's awful. Let's see, this is something I don't like. Is that because I can't do this and it takes me, it takes so much time to do manually, I think I'm only gonna make two cards. Because we, we need two more cards here. And then I think in the next episode, we're gonna start to work on maybe doing some automation to get this stuff done because mm. we really need that and it's it's uh, the storage needs to be done. I did turn off, by turn off I mean I unhooked this farm so it won't be storing stuff for a while. So hopefully uh, this will work out. I got to get all these done and then we'll make those up and we'll start to get the 264Ks here in a little bit. As you can see in my inventory I have 27 of the 1Ks. Now I'm starting to get the uh, calculation processes ready for to make nine mm. of the 4Ks. That'll then make three of the 16Ks, which will make one 64K. This is a very, very in-depth process. It takes forever. Now, we have all of this redstone here, and what I've kind of done here is I put some redstone in, and it feeds it into the center. And what I found is if I put these uh, two here right next to each other, what I can do is I can click, 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 click. See, and it makes it. And then I can just put it back like that. So I can make these up pretty quick. But this is something I want to automate. So we're going to be doing some automation, I think, in the next video. Because this is a pain. This is really a pain. Just to make one of these uh, 64K drives has taken me a long time. So uh, let me continue on, and we'll try to get up to uh, the 64K, okay? So we're about there. I've got the three 16Ks. So we're going to make a 64K component. And there is the storage component. Mm. Now, to make the drive, we need to basically put that into this formation, which is just coarse glass. The piece we just made, redstone and iron. And I'm missing the iron, so I think I have iron in here. I do. Okay. It's kind of like my little storage area that I've been using for this kind of thing. So we're going to do that and click this. And there we go. We have a 64K drive. That took me about uh, 45 minutes to an hour, something like that. So we are definitely, definitely going to have to automate this. Okay, let's go over here. We'll put this in. And that has now increased our storage capacity for this system. So we're good to go. Now I can start to put things back and use the system because I'm no longer adding stuff to this. We will also probably have to take the uh, Inferium and, and uh, go with the different levels. We have a lot of Inferium. Look how much Inferium we have. 1.1 million. So yeah, we need to do that too. Probably work with that and make some automation for that. But we're going to be doing a lot of that in the next episode. Okay, so uh, there you have it. We worked on the fishbowl. Look at that. It's pretty cool. I need to work on some of this, taking some fencing out and some things like that. But it looks really good. 
We've got some uh, worked on some of the storage here, and we're going to do some more automation in the next episode, like I said. So this is going really well, and I'm quite pleased with this. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, please click that like button. I really need the likes. Desperately need the likes. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section. I'm especially looking for comments related to my stream series that I'm doing on Stranger or uh, Stranger Things. Whoa, great, great series by the way. On uh, Forever Stranded Lost Souls, I'm looking for uh, better ways of doing my power solution. So if you want, catch us on the stream, twitch.tv slash tinker77live, and you can uh, join us and have a lot of fun. I'll be streaming tonight, so it's Sunday, 7 o'clock Eastern. And of course, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, please do so. Um, the subscriptions are really necessary. I need to get over a thousand subscribers for YouTube to think that I'm worthy. So uh, please help me out if you can and please subscribe. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day and bye-bye.